Imagine a smooth flowing process. The work is easy, employees are happy, and inventory seems to flow like a stream of water. Now think what would happen if just one operation in the process couldn't keep up with the others. Or a machine breaks down. Now your flow is halted and a lot of waiting occurs. Many traditional manufacturers in these cases rely on inventory buffers to prevent a complete line stop and keep lines running. So, what is an inventory buffer? Buffers are very similar to decoupling points. The main difference is that a buffer, as noted in the theory of constraints, includes both material and time buffers. In a practical sense, a buffer lessens or moderates the impact of something. In the case of inventory management, a buffer is extra inventory of either raw material or final product a company maintains as a protection against unforeseen circumstances. This lessens the impact of having no inventory available. Here's an example. You go into your favorite pizza shop, and they have cheese, pepperoni, and sausage hot and ready for the customer to grab at a moment's notice. These are buffer at the end of the line. Many times a buffer is not yet complete and simply awaiting further processing. This allows an organization to have specific hold points where they can use the unfinished goods to level a process or prevent a stop in the line. In simple words, we can say it is the excess inventory that a company keeps in reserves to protect itself against an uncertain future. As noted earlier, Buffers can be maintained as material buffers or time buffers. These buffers in both cases are best placed at constraint points or any point in a process where the operation may need a little extra support. These could be shipping points, convergent points, or divergent points. Simply put, buffers are placed where a process needs help. Some advantages of this technique are protection against fluctuations in supply and demand, minimization of any disruptions that may occur in production, more stable revenue flow for a company, and inventory can lower the impact of lost opportunities by having the inventory readily available for customers. Of course, with every advantage, there are disadvantages that you may need to consider as well. Some of the disadvantages might include maintaining buffers can tie up resources and increase overhead costs. Maintaining buffers also uses up more space. And finally, maintaining buffers only solves the symptom but does not address the root cause of issues like late deliveries, broken machines, and unbalanced or slow operations. So, let's say that you've weighed the advantages and disadvantages out and you've decided you will hold some buffer stock. How much should you hold? It would be great if there was a set amount that everyone could go off of, but the reality is that there isn't. Setting a buffer has its risks, but there are a few best practices that you can use to establish your inventory buffer. We will mention them briefly in this video and cover them more in later videos. First and foremost is fixed inventory buffers. This one is pretty straightforward. In this, the organization uses the support of experienced employees like planners. There is no formula. Instead, you decide on the buffer amount on maximum daily usage in a certain time period. Your buffer will stay the same until it is reviewed again and revised. Next is a time-based calculation. In this, the buffer stock is calculated based on a future expectation. And finally, we have a formula-based calculation. A popular formula that is frequently used to calculate the buffer is based on the average safety stock that a company will need 
in case of a stockout. This formula, however, does not take into account seasonal fluctuations of demand. And that's it, buffer inventory. Remember, we will cover more about buffer inventory in later videos. Now, before we go, we would like to invite you to answer the following question in the community, comments, or upcoming assignments. Have you used buffer inventory? If so, how does it work for you? We look forward to hearing your answers right here on Lean Strategies International, LLC. And we'll see you next time.